So now you've finished the exercise and you need to um, have a look at your journal reports, save it as a PDF file. For the assessment it has to be given to your teacher in PDF format to guarantee authenticity so it's a good idea to practice it with your practice exercise exercises. And remember once you've saved the PDF you no longer need um, your practice exercises so you can go and delete them. So to have a look at your reports so we click on report and it is the journal report. Remember to change the date so that it actually includes your transactions and if you order them in date order hit update and these are all your transactions and this is what your teacher would mark for the assessment. So once you've got that, you can then save to PDF. The way that you do that is down the bottom of the page there's an export function. Click on it and we're wanting it in PDF. And then you can email it or whatever you are doing to your uh, for your teacher who will give you instructions around that. So that's the journal report and that's the formal part that is marked. Other reports that will be of use to you, so come back to the reports. And let's have a look at the profit and loss for the company as well. So this is how Xero treats the transactions. Standard profit and loss statement. Again, you can export that if, if you wish. And also the uh, balance sheet. So once you've got all the reports you need, and any of these can be exported or printed, you are ready to delete your organisation. So you just come back to My Zero. And you can ask to delete it, and it will ask you for a reason, and if you just type in for educational purposes, that way Xero know that um, schools have been using this.